Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Harry Enfield. This is Pickaboo. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. This looks like the same couple who was irritating the guy on the bus in the last clip I reacted to. So this should be pretty good, man. So I appreciate you guys recommending it. So this is going to jump into it and we'll talk about it more at the end. Notes for our vacation blog. Hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you? What a great day, huh? Hello, hello. Uh, hello and I need uh, scotch tape for my bifocals. I, I think they call it cello tape. Sweet. Cello tape, all right. Cello tape, cello tape. Where's the cello tape? Oh, see, can you see the cello tape? Oh, it's right in front of my nose. <laughs> oh, peekaboo. <laughs> This dude. <laughs> Look who we got in here. Who's hiding in oh, there with no. the pretty eyes? I bet it's not just your eyes that are pretty, am I right? Oh, Ron, you're frightening her. <laughs> oh, I'm just abusive. <laughs> What's your name, honey? Amina. Amina, what a pretty name for a very pretty pair of eyes. I'm Ronald, this is Pammy, mm -hmm. and we are from Badiddly Boing on a Wild. Operation <laughs> Nine. Badiddly Boing. Amina, honey, would you mind if I got a picture of you with Ronald? Sure, oh, you would, would you, Here honey? We are. Wait a All minute. righty. Okay, smile. I mean, honey, are, are you smiling? <laughs> I guess you are. Okay. <laughs> You're take that lady. Don't be a handsome couple. Don't you can have them. <laughs> Say, I mean, honey, you know, I sure could use one of these things first thing in the morning. I look up right. Oh, don't listen to Pammy Amina. She looks as good in a birthday suit today as the day I married her. Oh, Ron. Almost. <laughs> See, Amina, Bogus. last fall we vacationed in Egypt, and we made a whole bunch of friends who looked just like you. Would you like to see their pictures? Sure she would. Sure you would. Okay, now this is Aisha. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Aisha. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Perhoi. Oh, my God. Oh, my this God. is Fatima. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Aisha. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Aisha. Oh, no, yeah. What a guy. This is Jamila. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Jamila. Isn't she probably this pretty? Is what a guy. This is Isn't she probably pretty? Isn't she probably pretty? Isn't she probably pretty? This is Salma. Why don't you pretty? Say, it's been a pleasure so annoying. meeting you. It sure has. And if you are ever in Badiddly Boy, Oda, Idaho, you be sure come see us, okay? Oh, you us. must come stay, Aminer. Honey, would they let you into our country? Ah, sure they would. Oh, honey. my God. Tell you something, I'd like to be the immigration guy who has to frisk you. <laughs> Let's get you. Oh, out. no. You're not scared of me. I'm decomposing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> that was good. You can actually see a lot in her eyes. <laughs> her just looking around like, these old people are out of their damn mind. That was good. That was fantastic. That was really, really funny. Didn't know anything he does. What a guy. Isn't she probably pretty? <laughs> Ah, what a goofy couple. That was good. That was fantastic, man. Super friendly. There are people like them that do exist. In a big city, you avoid people like that as much as possible, man. I used to understand why, because I'm not from a big city. So when I started working in downtown Chicago, people want to make eye contact and stuff. And that's because they don't want to get locked into a conversation like that. But if you come across somebody who's aggressive enough, they don't care. They're going to interrupt your reading with your headphones on, whatever it is, just to have a conversation with you. And I've ran across people like that who are like super nice for real. I ran across a couple. I remember this. This is when I was with my ex a long time ago. This is, I don't know, it was a long time it was at least 10 years ago and we we're going to virginia to found, uh, visit her family and we stopped at a rest stop and these old couples like where are you guys headed we're like going to virginia and so before you go there you need to stop at like this candle place you know like all the candles they sell at, like walmart and like uh, american sales and all this type of stuff they have a, a place where they have like a bunch of defective candles the ones that come out with like a wick that's a little too far to the right or the left or like the label was on their neat and they sell them all for a buck and some of these candles like 20 dollar candles in their dollars like you should definitely stop there she's telling us about her grandkids and all that type of stuff she's like, Hope you guys have a great trip. Be safe. Yada, yada, yada. They talked to us for a while, but we got that little piece of information. We thought it was cool. We went there. We bought a bunch of candles. And we we're actually able to give them to people for gifts and stuff, man. So it worked out. And it's wild because when it comes to quality control, some companies are super serious about it. So you look at a lot of the candles, it's like, these don't look defective at all, man. Like, this doesn't look bad at all. We, yeah, we purchased a bunch of them already giving away for gifts, and that was, like, a really nice old couple just talking to us. So, it doesn't always go bad, and you're not always annoyed. That was a, a situation where the person, the people were really nice, and they just told us somewhere cool to go, and we got some cool stuff. So, I should say majority of the time, people are pretty nice. But I enjoyed this. That couple was really goofy and funny. I would definitely like to check out more. All right, guys, that is it, man. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.